Hello once again drummers and percussionists! Welcome back to another video on Roscoe's drumming. Last video, which was far too long ago now, I haven't been able to make videos just because of renovations going on next door. There's been drills going into walls. Anyway, here's a new video. So, last one was about changing up our subdivision while playing, so in our groove. Now, if you'd like to see that video first, there'll be an annotation link on the screen to go check out that video first. But now, we're going to do something similar, but using some triplet subdivisions. So we're going to start off with a basic pattern, and on beat 4, that's our second snare stroke in this pattern, we're going to break into a 16th note triplet, which will then bring us back around to loop back into beat 1 of the next bar. Sounds more complicated than it is, here we go. And so when you practice this, make sure you use a metronome. I don't have one down here in this room, so I'm just going off feeling. But when you do practice this, the metronome will help make sure that that subdivision switch over time is nice and right on the beat. And one other way to practice this, just in its most basic form, is just going from the, the straight notes into the triplets, and again, just with the metronome. Now let's work on those triplets at the end and start making them sound a little bit more interesting. So one way to do this is to spread out the different strokes between snare and bass. I'll show you how that sounds. Now let's see how that goes with the rest of our groove. I think I'll make a couple of changes. The last stroke of our group of six triplets, I'm going to change to a snare, and then at the start of the groove, our second sixteenth note is also going to be a snare. So the change that I made to the triplet at the end of the bar, if you didn't catch it, sounds like this when I slow it down. So now, let's just have a bit of a play with that, putting in that subdivision break at different places in the groove. So if you want to start building up into grooves like that, when you practice the first exercise, make sure that you're really using the metronome, getting those transitions between the straight sixteenths and the triplet sixteenths nice and smooth. And that's where we'll leave it for this video. I do hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, give it a like, 
leave a comment, let me know what you thought. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more videos like this in the future, you can always subscribe to the channel and then you'll know as soon as I put out the new videos, you'll be there and you can watch it. Lastly, if you're feeling social and you want to come and say hello to myself and the other drummers who watch the Roscoe's drumming videos, jump on Facebook and there's links for Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus for Roscoe's drumming in the description. So come and say hello. That's it for now. I will see you on the next video.